If you have ever wished that something could just do itself, like saving email attachments, sending reminders or moving files, Power Automate in your Microsoft 365 subscription is the magic button that you've been missing. Today, I'm going to show you what it is, how to get to it, and a few key things that you should know before you dive in. I'm Marianne from Thrive Admin Services, and let's get stuck in. So we're going to start with what is Power Automate? So it is Microsoft 365's automation tool, and it lets you set up these little workflows that are called flows that automatically do those repetitive tasks for you. You can connect other apps like Outlook and SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive, Excel, and even non-Microsoft things like Gmail or Trello or Asana or Adobe and have them work together without you needing to lift a finger. So we're going to start with a really simple introduction. And the first thing is, how do you find Power Automate? So we head to your office.com or cloud.microsoft dashboard, and you'll probably find it starts like this. And over in the left hand side in your little toolbar here, we're going to open this one up and you're going to head down to the apps button. And this is going to show you what's included. Now I'm going to go all apps and then everything is alphabetical. And we're looking for this one here, Power Automate. When we click on that, it's going to take us to a new tab and it will log in as your account. OK, so it's super easy. You need to be signed in with your Microsoft 365 account. You can also head to in your web browser, in your Google Chrome, or your Mozilla or your Firefox, whatever you're using. You can head to make.powerautomate.com, this bit here. If you pop that into your web browser, it will take you here and then you'll sign in directly. OK, so. What I want to do is talk to you about a couple of the things you need to know about the terms that we use inside Power Automate. So I want to show you what a flow is because it's a term that Power Automate uses and there are a couple of different kinds. So a flow is a set of steps that run automatically. So the flow is the automation from start to finish. You can think of it like a recipe where you choose the ingredients or the parts that are going to be put into the flow and then Power Automate does the cooking. OK, so what we're trying to do is streamline the way these things happen. You pull all the pieces together for it and then it will keep doing it for you over and over. Another term you need to know is a trigger. Now, every flow will start with a trigger and that's the thing that sets it into motion. It could be when an email arrives, when a file is added at 9am every morning. It just needs to be something that will tell the system it's time to go. And then there's an action and you tell it what to do next. That's the action. Send that email, move the file, add a task, post into Teams, uh, you know, tick something off a planner board or move something into, into a list or add it to a spreadsheet. Whatever you need to have happen, once the trigger occurs, those are the actions. And it can be a single action or you can have multiple actions. You can also add conditions. So that's another term you need to know in Power Automate, a condition. And that is if the email is from this person, do this. And if not, do something else. So this is how you start building logic into your flows without needing to code and use all of those IT terms. A condition is like putting that data through a filter or a sieve and telling it which way to go. So those are some of the key terms that you should know. I want to talk to you now about the different types of flows. So the flow is our automation and there are a few different types we can create. So we've got four that I want to kind of talk to you about. We've got an automated flow and you can see here it's triggered by a designated event. So it starts from that trigger. New email, new file, new message, new planner task, new event in your calendar, whatever it is, there is a physical thing that happens. Then we've got an instant flow and an instant flow happens when you click a button. So this is great for shortcuts or when you want to run something ad hoc, you don't need it running all the time or you only want to run it as like a cleanup. Really good for sort of personal shortcuts. 
Then we've got a scheduled cloud flow or a scheduled flow where you choose when and how often it runs. So it runs on a timer every morning, every Monday at 9 a.m., every Friday at 3 p.m., whatever it might be. Could be that weekly reminder into the team about everybody doing their timesheets. It could be a weekly email to your exec with your, um, you know, questions for the week or your debrief of the outstanding items on a planner board. It could be your fortnightly reminder to accounts about sending out the, the specific information you need or to your admin team to make sure that they've got all of the accounts in by a certain time each month, whatever it might be. If you're doing that manually, if it's running on a timer, if it's date or time specific, then this is where you would run it. Then we've got a desktop flow, and this is for automating tasks on your actual computer. Now, this one is a little bit more advanced and it uses Power Automate Desktop. So it's a little bit different and you can see that's why it sits a little bit separate to these ones. These are cloud flows and happen in the web. This one is a desktop flow. Most people will start with an automated flow. It is the easiest one to get up and running with and it is the one that a lot of the templates are designed to work with as well. So now I'm going to have a chat to you about this tab here, the templates tab. Why should you start with a template? Because if it is your first time using Power Automate, you don't want to have to start from scratch. It can be really overwhelming. Templates are these pre-built flows and they are completely customizable. You can still edit and tweak them and do your own thing but it means you're not starting from a, a blank page. It means that the structure and the code and the connections are already kind of all mapped out in the right order. And all you need to do is plug in your accounts and your data to get it up and running. It's a really great way for you to see what's possible as well, rather than kind of trying to figure out how it all fits together. Some of these are already done for you. And even if you don't end up using one, they're an excellent way to start and learn. Now there are so many templates here, loads and loads. So what I would suggest is that you go through and have a bit of a look. You can see all the different programs that are included and you can see they're broken down into a few different categories, lots of different categories, but also you can search for things as well. You can put save attachments and you'll see that there are lots of different ways from Outlook to Dropbox, from, OneDrive, from Office 365 to OneDrive, from Gmail to Google Drive from Outlook to Google Drive. So you can build whatever is going to fit your system with some of these templates. And you'll see that a lot of these are all marked as automated, which means that's the type of flow they use. So Power Automate can seriously cut down your manual work, but you don't need to be a techie to use it. Start really small is my tip. So start with a very simple template that will take one action that you are doing all the time and take it off your plate. It could be saving emails. It could be saving attachments. It could be sending an email reminder every Monday morning for people to get their timesheets in. Whatever it might be, anything we can take off your plate and make sure that it is still happening is a bonus. If you would like help building your first automation, please get in touch with me. I have got loads of different tips and tricks um, from Thrive Admin that can help you with that. Make sure that if this video has been helpful and you are interested in learning more about how Microsoft 365 can streamline your productivity, to follow along by subscribing so that you're notified of any new videos. If you've got questions, pop them in the comments below or find me hanging out on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn always happy to chat Microsoft 365. Uh, otherwise, let me know how you go.